welcome to PCR London Vals 2024. My name is Nicola Ryan from Aberdeen, Scotland, and it's my great pleasure to be here with Jose um, Antonio uh, Baz, who's a cardiologist from Viego, Spain. So you've really nicely presented at PCR London Valves the results of the Empire One trial, which uh, evaluated the new Imperia delivery system for the Allegra transcatheter heart valve. Can you perhaps um, explain to us the main um, differences in this delivery system and the main results of your trial? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a new delivery system that permits us to reposition the valve and uh, have a good position when we implant the valve. So, with this study, we checked that all the implants were correct. Only one case couldn't implant the valve because the valve was not attached in, in the annulus, but the result was very good because the reposition of the valve was done in 50% or more of the patients who we, we need this, this data. There were few complications. Uh, in the valve in valve cases, there were no complications and small uh, cases in the, in the uh, native valves. So the results are very good. The safety of the device and the implant of the valve is more accurately and more precise than the, the previous delivery system. I noticed you had a, a really excellent valve implant result, a very good technical success. Can you perhaps explain a little bit to us about the hemodynamic results that you mm. saw from the trial? One of the main uh, points of this valve is the hemodynamic result because it's a valve that in a small uh, area, small annulus, gives a big orifice, active orifice area and low gradient. So we check with the new device, the new device, if we can obtain these results. And we see that in the native patients, there were no patients with prosthesis mismatch. The PBL was less than moderate in 94% uh, of the patients. And in valve valve cases, only two patients has um, moderate PPM and no patients with uh, moderate PBL. Only 99% of the patients has mild or uh, uh, no PBL. Okay, and you bring up nicely the valve in valve population. I think that's something mm. we're coming across more and more as we get more experience with mm. transcatheter heart valves. Can you perhaps um, explain to us a little why you included this population mm. and the specific outcomes in this population? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Um, Allegra has indication, a C, C mark indication for valve mark cases. And uh, the range of annulus that can be used is from 16.5. So in this very small valves can be used. We, can, we want to check if using the new delivery system, we can obtain these good hemodynamic uh, results. And the results are very good because there was no complications, no death, and uh, the result was very, very good with only these two cases of prosthesis mismatch with moderate prosthesis mismatch. You've really nicely presented to us the results of the trial and discussed the, the great hemodynamics. When you move to real world clinical practice, um, what patients do you think the Allegra heart valve will be suitable for? Are there any limitations or would you mm -hmm. use it broadly? Mm -hmm. With the old delivery system, we have some limitations because uh, as we cannot reposition the valve, we have to select the patients. With the new delivery system, we have no limitation for that. The only limitations will be anatomical because we have to use, I think, uh, French sheath. So if the femoral axis is not acceptable, we cannot use it. And the size of the valve is more than 27 millimeter diameters. We cannot use it. This is the only one limitation, but we can use the good things of the, this valve. The good things are we can use it in a small annulus because the hemodynamic is very good for coronary axis because we have both uh, uh, options to uh, cannula, cannula the uh, coronary arteries inside outside the valve and to have long-term durability because this valve is designed to have long-term durability because it delivers the stress of the leaflets. Great, thank you very much for um, being here with me today. I think we've really nicely learned that uh, with the new Imperia delivery system, you get very nice hemodynamic results with the implantation of the Allegra valve. Um, it seems to be applicable across a wide population of patients, including the valve in valve population. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the longer term outcomes of these valves. Thank you, Nicola.